Hi, I'm Matthew Machuga, and this Tuts Plus course is on multi-tenancy in Laravel. For those unfamiliar with the term, multi-tenancy simply refers to an application that supports multiple organizations, also known as tenants. Rather than spinning up a new individual instance of your application for each client, you have every client working off of the same app. Some popular examples of multi-tenant sites include Basecamp, Pivotal Tracker, and Trello. Since there are multiple ways of handling multi-tenancy, we're going to primarily focus on two styles, single database, where all of the data is stored together and are usually keyed to a specific tenant, and multi-database, where each client is assigned their own database while still running on the same instance of the application. There are pros and cons to each, and we'll try to address many of these points. The majority of our work is going to take place in the single DB style, but many of the concepts will carry over to the multi-DB version well. Large focal points that are implementation agnostic will be covered at the end of the series within our single DB environment. Now let's go over the tool set for this course. My terminal emulator is going to be iTerm2, and my shell is ZSH. We'll be editing files in Vim, or more specifically NeoVim. If you'd like to see how I set up my shell or Vim, my dot files are available on GitHub under machuga slash dot files. We'll be using Chrome Canary as the default browser. For PHP, I'll be using PHP version 5.5. If you have OS 10, you can simply use Homebrew to install PHP 5.5, or you can use MAMP. If you're using Linux, your package manager will have the ability to install PHP by default. If you're using Windows or don't want to clutter up your OS with extra dependencies, you can use Homestead, which is the official Laravel prepackaged Vagrant box, which comes ready for you to use. You can read more about it in the Laravel documentation under Homestead. I won't be doing much testing this series, but we may need to update some of the existing tests to comply with the new multi-tenant code. I'll be mostly following PSR standards in my code, but since Laravel itself doesn't directly comply with PSR2, there may be some areas that don't quite comply fully. All right, so with the basic introductions out of the way, next episode I'll introduce you to the app we're going to slowly convert into a multi-tenant application throughout the series.